Okay, let's talk about bullying, because I'm really, really sick of seeing all these young, beautiful children who are taking themselves out because a couple of kids are treating them so horribly at school that they can't take it anymore. A, I remember middle school, and everything was so much more embarrassing. Your feelings were so much more intense. And remember how embarrassed you were if your teacher got your note and you were like, bitch, you better not read that thing out loud. Because like, maybe you mentioned your crush in there. Or that could elicit you a nickname that would last for the rest of the entire school year until your graduation day or senior graduation day. You know, God forbid you have a funny last name. Mine's Rice. Charlotte Rice. Sound like Chinese takeout. Mm -hmm. Rice Aroni. Where's your Uncle Ben? All that. And everybody has their shit. I mean, I'm sure Hell has a basement. I'm sure somebody had a lot worse. Poor little Anthony Weiner. Although, wasn't that something that came around full circle? Ooh. Anyway. To all you children who don't really know how to defend yourselves because maybe you're too sweet and there's just something in you that doesn't know how to be cruel back to somebody, honey, I'm going to help you get a spine. I have a list of 10 things that I developed. I can make anything cry. Man, woman, animal, vegetable, mineral. Nothing is impervious to these 10 things I have. And they go for any, any group of people. It's a universal smackdown. And it's pretty effective because every single one I've tried out on a couple of different folks and it works. So if you have some arrogant, shit-talking, corrosive cheese stick trying to boss you around or who's making your life a living hell, I mean, people treat you the way you train them to treat you. If you train them that that's okay and you take it, well, they're going to come back and do it to you again tomorrow. Why? We expect. Took it so well the first time. What you need to do is teach a little school. Let that smack bag know that you are not the one. And you know what he'll do? He will not pick on you anymore, and he will go off and find someone who isn't a member of the Chordate Fallen and who lacks the spine that you now possess. I mean, I, I never pick on people, never pick on people, but you jack with me, and I do respond in a way that has Satan sitting in the corner taking notes. You know, people who cross me won't do so twice. College and working for a few bosses who are lucky that they still have a a pulse it helped me fortify my own spine I mean I didn't really get a good one until I was about 30 and finally one day I was like you know what hell no hell no I know I'm smarter than you I have a big problem with stupid anyway you know it's usually some dumb shit trying to give you you know I was like the nerdy kid who played the piano and read books all the time and so that's the kid who gets picked on the one who's going to be operating on your goddamn prostate one day with any luck Right? You're going to pick on me? No, sir. You're not. Anyway, if, you want, if you're getting picked on, you message me. Private message me. Find me on Facebook, Charlotte Rice. And I will help you turn your little string of losing streaks into a series of high-fiving, chest-bumping victories. Because you know what? You have a choice. You can either go through this life grabbing your ankles and trudging through, or you can rise up a little linguistic warrior with a string of scalps off your freaking lance. Riding through life. Who's next? Thanks for playing. Love your hair. Hope it wins, bitch. Anybody else? And you know what? I bet it'll be a resonating... No, I'm good. I'm good. Thanks so much. Anyway. And even if... I mean, say you can hold your own, but you have a friend who isn't exactly Dorothy Parker. You make that little girl aware of me. I mean, think about it. A friend... A, this old saying? I can't remember. A friend will help you move... But a good friend will help you move bodies. So give your, your friend the gift of spine. And uh, don't hang yourselves. I mean, my saying is this. I don't get headaches. I fucking give them. And I was once like you. And one day, you're going to be like me with any luck. But until you are, I will be your swami. I will be your guide. And we're going to handle up on this bullshit with the bullying. And if I can't do it... You uh, look up old Mike Marino, Jersey boy. He's a good friend of mine. We'll bring Vinny, and Vinny will bring the bat. You choose. Hang in there, baby. College is going to be better.